This year's Proficiency Award for Fiber or Oil Crop Production Placement goes to Garrett Strickland from the Labette County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Soybean Commission. Garrett is involved in nearly every facet of his family's farming operation, which includes about 1,400 acres of soybeans. His duties include operating tillage and harvest equipment, transporting seed and fertilizer, and transporting harvested soybeans. He has also calibrated the operation's fertilizer spreader with the GPS system to ensure maximum application efficiency. Garrett plans to study diesel mechanics through the John Deere Tech Program at Fort Scott Community College and then continue his education at Kansas State University. He is the son of Johnny and Lisa Strickland. His chapter advisors are Dustin Wiley, Jeff Falkenstein, and Kyle Wallen. Let's congratulate Garrett for a job well done. The winner of this year's Proficiency Award in Forage Production Placement is Andrew Walk of the Holcomb FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Forage and Grassland Council. Andrew is employed on a family friend's 520-acre forage crop operation. He is responsible for running the operation's swather, rake, baler, and retriever. Beyond the mechanical knowledge he has gained, Andrew has learned land management techniques as well as pest control and forage crops. Through his SAE, he has also become skilled in servicing and managing irrigation equipment. Andrew plans to begin attending Kansas State University in 2013 to pursue a degree in agronomy. He is the son of Lance and Regina Walk. His chapter advisor is Brandon Barr. Let's congratulate Andrew on a job well done. Kyle Anderson from the Chapman FFA Chapter is this year's winner of the Forest Management and Products Proficiency Award. This award is sponsored by Barbara A. Derrick in honor of Doyle Derrick. Kyle and his grandfather, Francis Anderson, own Anderson Firewood and Posts. Their business includes harvesting and selling firewood and posts to the local community, as well as clearing hedge and hackberry trees from pastures in the area. He currently has five customers, but hopes that that number will grow as his marketing plan further develops. Kyle says he has learned to better identify trees in Kansas and their value through his SAE. He plans to attend Kansas State University and study agriculture. Kyle is the son of Rodney and Tammy Anderson. His advisors are Trenton Horn and Walter Pitts. Let's give Kyle a round of applause. This year's winner of the Goat Production and Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award area is Lindsay Peace of the Chautauqua FFA Chapter. Riffle Family Show Goats and Dreamland Farms sponsor this award. Lindsay operates a herd of boar goats on 10 acres of her parents' land. She also manages her own breeding program to obtain desirable traits. She sells her goats to 4-H and FFA members for showing projects. She has increased her herd to 81 does and 4 bucks. Lindsay is attending Northeast Oklahoma A&M College and hopes to transfer to Kansas State University to pursue a doctorate in veterinary medicine. She plans on returning to Southeast Kansas to open her own veterinary clinic. Lindsay's parents are Wayne and Stephanie Pease. Her advisor is Jim Nave. Congratulations, Lindsay. This year's winner of the Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award in Grain Production is Emily Harris from the Abilene FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Wheat Commission. Emily rents 73 acres from her family's farm to harvest wheat, milo, and sorghum. She runs a 50-50 share with her parents, allowing her to share both costs and income from the harvest. Emily gained experience driving the grain truck and helping with the harvest while growing up on the farm and the profit she has made from her own operation will be used to pay for college. Emily says she has been pleased with her harvest yields and prices through the years and hopes to learn more about market options in the future. She plans to attend Kansas State University and study agribusiness. Emily is the daughter of Kevin and Rosemary Harris. Her advisor is Travis Prawley. Congratulations, Emily.
Ryan Pachta of the Wamigo FFA chapter is this year's winner of the Proficiency Award for Grain Production Placement. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Wheat Commission. Ryan works on his family's farm, which includes about 4,000 acres and 40 head of cattle. The family produces corn, soybeans, grain sorghum, and wheat. Ryan operates a variety of equipment on the farm, including tractors, sprayers, and combines, and he has even begun purchasing some of his own farmland. After high school, Ryan plans to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering and then a career designing farm equipment. Ryan is the son of John and Renee Pachta. His chapter advisor is Andy Morton. Let's give Ryan a round of applause for his job well done. This year's winner in home and or community development placement is Jay Britnell from the Hiawatha FFA chapter. This award is sponsored by Sites Gift Fruit Incorporated. Jay started his recycling project in eighth grade. He has promoted recycling in his high school by giving presentations about recycling to community members and students. Jay applied for and received a Kansas Green Schools grant that allowed him to purchase 40 recycling containers for paper, plastic, and glass, and 750 reusable grocery bags. These items were placed in classrooms and distributed to students and faculty. Jay plans on attending Kansas State University to major in agricultural technology management. Jay's parents are Ray and Jean Brintnell. Mandy Kern is his advisor. Let's give Jay a round of applause for an outstanding job. The winner of this year's Proficiency Award for Nursery Operations Placement is Hannah Anderson from the Newton FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Lawrence Landscape. Hannah worked for Stone Creek Nursery in Heston, Kansas for two years. During her employment, Hannah has gained an incredible amount of horticultural knowledge through hands-on work with everything from seeds to large trees. Hannah now works for the City of Newton, where she is responsible for maintaining parks and public landscapes through watering, trimming, and weeding. She plans to continue her studies at Kansas State University. Hannah's parents are Lyle and Rhonda Anderson. Her chapter advisors are Lowell Ely and Newt Rucker. Congratulations, Hannah! This year's winner of the Proficiency Award for Outdoor Recreation Placement is Morgan Hamill from the Clay Center FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Mr. Larry Leiter. Morgan's SAE consists of her work for her family's farm, Browndale Pumpkin Farms. The farm includes a play area, sorghum maze, petting zoo, craft shop, concession stand, and pumpkin patch. She helps plant, mulch, and pick pumpkins, as well as engaging in other parts of the operation. Her future plans include pursuing a degree in agribusiness. Morgan is the daughter of Kirk and Amy Hamill. Her advisors are Mike Bain and Jay Bonnenblust. Congratulations, Morgan. Alyssa James, a member of the Paola FFA chapter, is the winner of this year's Proficiency Award for Poultry Production Placement. This award is sponsored by Calmaine Foods. Her SAE began three years ago with 10 birds and has now grown to a nearly 80 bird operation. Alyssa is currently housing 30 laying hens, 20 pullets, and 22 young birds. Her responsibilities have expanded to include feeding, watering, and egg collection, as well as medicating the flock when needed and cleaning coops. Alyssa plans to attend Fort Scott Community College before completing degrees in agribusiness and equine science at Kansas State University. Her parents are Brian and Amy James. Chapter advisors are John Menifee and Brett Brownback. Let's give Alyssa a round of applause for a job well done. The winner of this year's Proficiency Award for Sheep Production Entrepreneurship is Corbin Green, a member of the Rock Hills FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Harris Show Lamps. 
Corbin's SAE got its start when he won a catch a lamb contest at his county fair. He soon bought two other market lambs and his flock has expanded to 30 ewes and a couple of rams. Through his SAE, Corbin has become more knowledgeable about maintaining breeding animals, including shearing, trimming hooves, and immunizing his flock. After high school, Corbin plans to study farm and ranch management in college before returning to the family farm. Corbin is the son of Scott and Janelle Green. His chapter advisor is David Graham. Let's give Corbin a round of applause. Austin Egbert from the Girard FFA chapter is this year's winner of the Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award in Small Animal Production and Care. This award is sponsored by the Charles Kerr Family and Farms. Austin raises and shows many Rex rabbits for his SAE. He started with two rabbits and has grown his operation to more than 50 new rabbits born each year. He is responsible for daily care, record keeping, breeding, building ages, competing, and selling of his rabbits. Austin has built new hutches for his rabbits, created a strategic breeding program and record keeping system in order to grow his rabbit numbers. He says he hopes to sell his rabbits at the state fair and in local pet stores. He plans on attending a four-year university and studying either engineering or agriculture. Austin is the son of Clark and Ann Egbert. His advisors are Alan Boltinghouse and Joe Coran. Let's congratulate Austin with a round of applause. Courtney Hoover from the Rock Creek FFA chapter is the winner of this year's Proficiency Award for Specialty Animal Production Entrepreneurship. This award is sponsored by Prairie School Farms. For her SAE, Courtney breeds and sells specialty birds, such as cockatiels, lover birds, parakeets, zebra finches, society finches, and diamond doves. She also operates a bird rescue, helping unwanted or injured birds find great homes. Courtney has also constructed an aviary to increase the number of birds she is able to care for. After high school, Courtney plans to study fine arts and interior design at Kansas State University. Courtney is the daughter of Rodney and Dixie Hoover. Her chapter advisor is David Holliday. Let's give Courtney a round of applause for a job well done. This year's winner of the Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award in Swine Production is Jacob Rutledge of the Mission Valley FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Pork Association. Jacob runs his own hog operation. He is responsible for the daily care, breeding, selling, showing, and management of his operation. Jacob has researched quality genetics in order to AI his sows to create high quality show hogs which he then sells to County 4-H members. Jacob purchased and built his own farrowing house and sow hut and supplied it with efficient feeders and waterers. Jacob says he is currently farrowing two sows twice a year. He plans to attend Kansas State University studying agriculture while hoping to continue to expand his hog operation in the future. Jacob is the son of Pat and Cindy Rutledge. His advisor is Kelly Holting. Congratulations, Jacob. Heidi Yarok from the Oakley FFA chapter is this year's recipient of the Swine Production Placement Proficiency Award. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Pork Association. Heidi is the sole caretaker of the swine at the Oakley High School Farm. She is responsible for the daily care of 12 hogs, including feeding and checking on the animals both in the morning and evening. The number of hogs on the farm has continued to grow as Heidi has proven herself as a quality caretaker. Heidi says she was a complete amateur when she began her SAE, but now runs the entire farm almost independently throughout the school year and summer months. Heidi plans to attend Benedictine College. Heidi is the daughter of Greg and Jackie Yarok. Her advisor is Glenn Good. Congratulations, Heidi. This year's winner of the Turfgrass Management Proficiency Award is David Boxman from the Arc City FFA Chapter. 
Sod Shop Incorporated and Mike and Judy Gooderman sponsor this award. David operates his own lawn care business. David was able to start his business at the age of 11 with the help of his father. He has increased his number of customers from 20 to 40 in one year. With his earnings, he is able to upgrade his equipment and increase efficiency. David plans on attending Cali Community College and then transfer to Kansas State University to major in business or horticulture. David's parents are Mark and Lynn Boxman. His advisors are Casey Epler and Casey Bogart. Let's congratulate David on a job well done. Shelby Bargman from the Marysville FFA chapter is this year's winner of the Vegetable Production Entrepreneurship. This award is sponsored by Mr. Sean Turner. Shelby plants and produces pumpkins and gourds on her family's acreage. She harvests the pumpkins in September and prepares them for sale in October. To advertise her produce, stories and ads were placed in local newspapers as well as television ads and flyers. Shelby will attend Kansas State University to major in agricultural education. Her parents are Lynn and Shelley Bargman. Craig Lister and Jackie LaRue are her advisors. Let's give Shelby a round of applause for a job well done. Courtney Perry from the Holton FFA chapter is this year's winner of the Veterinary Science Proficiency Award. Kansas Veterinary Medical Association sponsors this award. Courtney has worked for Heartland Veterinary Clinic since June 2009. While there, she walks, feeds, and waters animals as well as assists in routine procedures and surgeries. She also maintains office duties such as answering phone calls and handling transactions. Courtney says her grandfather instilled in her a passion for animals. Courtney hopes to attend Washburn University and earn a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Courtney is the daughter of Mark Perry and Sandy Spiker. Her advisors are Jason Larrison and Alex Bartell. Congratulations, Courtney. This year's winner of the Wildlife Production and Management Placement Proficiency Award is Colton Bryant from the Bueller FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Wild Turkey Federation. Colton manages a one-acre food plot and maintains three different units of land for his SAE. He maintains his family's 11-acre plot as well as developing two other properties that they lease, a 160-acre plot and an 87-acre parcel of land. Each property contains a one-acre plot where Colton clears trees, prepares the soil, plants food plots, and creates a sufficient environment for wildlife. Colton says he has seen a 33% increase in wildlife population on his properties. He plans to graduate from Hutchinson Community College and then attend Wichita State University. Colton is the son of Cody and Brandy Bryant. His advisors are John Clark and Justin Seusser. Let's congratulate Cody for a job well done. <laughs> 